Right guys, so shot number two of the five most important shots, in my opinion, is approach shot from around about 150 yards. Because a lot of you guys will have around about that distance for the majority of your approach shots into the green. Now, if you were asked the question, where would you want to be on the fairway? If somebody said, right, okay, I'm going to be seven iron or an eight iron for every shot, you'd probably snap their arm off because you look at that club as quite an easy club to hit, one that you're comfortable with, one that you might practice with a lot, and especially one that you probably learnt with as well. So this shot should be theoretically easier for you, but it's surprising how often greens are missed, club selection is wrong, and a lot of the, the nice attention to detail is required to execute this shot successfully goes amiss. So let me run you through. The first thing that we need to look at is the environment. So we've got one, the lie of our golf ball. So here I'm lying okay on the fairway. As you can see, I could have been in a little bit of a divot or a little bit of a marking in there. So that would have affected club selection and the way I wanted to play that shot. But this one's lying nicely on the fairway. So that's the first answer. Number two is what is the terrain of the ground like down there where the ball is going to land so what i'm looking at is what the elevation changes are it's probably a fraction downhill but not a huge amount um, i'm looking at how big the green is so you know where is there any water in there where are the bunkers all those kind of things are going to take into account is there a false front on the green where the danger is at the back of the green then we've got to think about the, the weather. So wind direction at the moment, the wind direction is coming pretty much directly downwind. Now that's going to have an effect on my club selection. Also the temperature of the, of the day. So is it cold? If it's cold and the ball isn't going to travel as far as if it's warm. So you've got to make sure that you don't just think, well, okay, well, you know, the best shot I hit with my seven iron is 155. So that's how far it goes because in the winter when it's cold, it won't go that far. And actually in the summer when it's much, much warmer, if you really do button it, it might go a bit further. But you've got to look at what that average distance would be. So once you know and you've assessed your environment, you then got to find out three distances really. So if you've got a, a measuring device, whether that be a watch, a range finder or a, a, a GPS, um, you need to know distance to the front of the green how far does that golf ball need to carry to get to the green distance to the back of the green how far is it to the back of the green and what club could i hit and hit it really really well and not go beyond that distance and then how far the flag is because you 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 want to know that point because that'll give you then the the commitment to trust in that you selected the right club from those three pieces of information you can select the right club from selecting the right club, it's then down to the intention that you want for the shot. And by that, I mean shot shape you're gonna hit. Mainly, if you hit a fade, don't try and hit a draw because the chances of success are gonna be much, much smaller. So if you hit a fade or a little bit of a movement from left to right or a movement from right to left, go with the shot, trust that shot, and then you can predict the movement pattern of what is gonna happen. So once you've got your intentions of the shot you've surveyed the terrain you've got the environment in there you've measured your distance now you can go and select your club so for me my 150 club would be my eight iron now if i hit nine iron which is about 135 for me that's a big difference because i've got to really hit it solid to try and get it to the distance that I've got here with 150 yards. That flag is actually 149. So I'm going to select my normal 150 club for this shot. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the grip a little bit and swing it the same because that's going to just take a little bit of that distance off it. So I know if I take a bit of that off it by going down the grip, I can hit this shot solid and I'm still not going to hit it over the back of the green. I'll have to be unlucky and really find the true sweet spot of the club, which is about the size of a pinhead to really get anywhere near the back of the green. So once we've got that information, we've just got to trust it. You've got to set up, you've got to commit to the shot and trust that you're going to hit the shot that you would normally see. So commitment to it. Don't try and guide it. Don't try and steer it. Don't try and take a little bit off it or don't try and hit it too hard. You've selected the right club by surveying all of the questions that are being asked to you by the golf course. So go out there, commit to the shot. So let's see. 
So I've got the wind at my back, as you can probably see, it's blowing a little bit on the shirt. I'm gripping down, so I'm bringing my hand down there by around about of an inch. I'm taking aim and I'm just gonna trust it and put a nice smooth swing on it. So pulled it a little bit, but there it is into the middle of the green in terms of its distance up the green. And from there, I've got a putt. That's all you can ask. 